two, three to nine. These are the values that your A can take up to. So I have 0 0.008. Now, what is my A? My A from here can only be eight, right? It can be eight. So, because I need to shift this decimal point, this is what I have. So to get to that eight as my A, I need to shift this decimal point to get to eight. You can see that. So we'll write eight times 10 to the power of. Now, remember what I told you when we started. I said that if you shift, I don't know if you can hear me clearly because I don't want to shout, I'm having headache. So I said, if you shift your decimal point to the right, your, your N will be, this N will be negative. But when you shift your decimal point to the left, your N will be positive. Now, a decimal, this particular decimal, you can see where the decimal point is. And to get to our A, we shifted it to the right three times. So one, two, three. Meaning that our N will be negative 